Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. Today I will be talking about Phantom of the Paradise, the 1974 film, which is both written and directed by Brian De Palma. So our film opens with composer and musician Winslow auditioning with his original material for Swan, who is a music mogul, and is falsely told by Swan that he would like his composition to be used in the opening of his new music hall. So after attempting to contact Swan multiple times, showing up at auditions that were specifically not geared for him, he becomes falsely imprisoned and then permanently disfigured all while also becoming smitten with a singer named Phoenix. Eventually, after um, a caped and masked Winslow destroys multiple sets and throws a bunch of monkey wrenches into Swan's plans for the opening, he does decide to make a deal with Winslow to be able to keep creating on some very dark terms. But what are my likes about this movie? The soundtrack is amazing. It is so good. It's no secret that I love oldies, so I particularly enjoyed the Juicy Fruits like you you can't beat that like bubblegum pop 50s 60s music hello i love it um other than that the original compositions in the film are so good the performances are incredible everyone really knew what they were doing it was awesome i really want to get my hands on the soundtrack uh as this is a rock opera i felt like the singing never overpowered any aspect of this film it wasn't like when people stereotypically think of a musical, they're just like, Ugh, everything's going to be singing. I don't like singing. I don't like musicals. Well, you're in luck because this movie has such a good balance of action, of drama, of singing, even humor, which I was surprised. I also really enjoyed the blend of the Phantom of the Opera, Faust, and the picture of Dorian Gray. Growing up, my very best friend, the first friend I ever made, we were obsessed with the Phantom of the Opera. Uh, I would dress up like Christine and he would dress up like the Phantom for Halloween. And anything that's Phantom of the Opera related just makes me think of him. And he did pass away a few years ago. And just having that, you know, little rekindling in my soul watching this film, thinking I wish I could have watched it with you. That held a special spot for me. Made me a little sad, made me a little sentimental, but I think it also, you know, gave me more, I don't know, investment in the film. My dislikes. It was a little, as, as I said, there was some humor thrown in there, and I was surprised that there was a little more slapstick than I had expected, but... I don't think it was super over the top. It just threw me off a little bit, and I didn't know how much the film really needed slapstick. Like, humor, yes. You can always throw humor into a horror film or horror rock opera, but I don't know about slapstick. But, I mean, it was fine. The gore for me, I'm a snob, was a little lackluster. I felt like they could have done more, especially with the teeth extraction scene and the record press scenes. Could have been a little more in-your-face that's funny because the record press is on the face, but that's just a personal preference. I like seeing a lot of gore. I like to be grossed out. That's, that's my thing. Not everyone's thing. It's fine. So I, I do highly recommend this film. I feel like it has a little something for everyone. You're not going to be overpowered by any particular part of it. And I feel like it is a really good blend. Like I said, I do give this a four out of five. Uh, I found this on Blu-ray on Amazon. It is also available in other physical platforms and streaming platforms. So I suggest everyone give this a watch. Have you seen this film? What are your thoughts? Leave me a comment down below. Do you have the soundtrack? Where did you get the soundtrack? Because I would like the soundtrack. Let me know. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you like the video if you liked the video or you could like the video if you don't like the video and please hit the bell to get all notifications of my uploads 
Um, you can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter at Reanimator. And please check out Phantom of the Paradise.